Hello, Beth from Pearl Treasure Designs here, joining the five for five dollar dupes DIY challenge with our host, Crafty Cove DIY, Farm Charm Chic, and our guest host, Crafting with JC. You will find the descriptions links in my description box. So on to the first DIY. This is uh, one that I got an idea from Crafty Art Shack. You can find the links to her videos in my description box. She has some amazing videos. So the first dupe I decided to do was a, a metal oval tray that I had already pre-painted uh, uh, with white chalk paint. And I am going over it with the black chalk paint um, and getting ready to decide what I want to do with it. It had a very neat uh, design on it, but I couldn't quite get that to pop. So I decided that I would do uh, some gold flaking um, through the uh, crackling method. So here is my gold. Uh, decided to give, uh, give it a nice thick coat so that I could see that gold come through. Okay. And the next one I was putting black onto the surface and um, heating that up to cause it to crackle. I did a one step crackle with folk art, um, one step crackle. DIY number two. I got this idea from Etsy um, and then, uh, and I guess it's Norwal Star Studios. Um, and it spurred me on. So I decided that I would try some casting resin with some molds um, to design my tag that I had in store. And this is a, one of my videos that shows you how to use resin. Um, and I chose to use the flower molds. Um, and I'm going to go into some detail with that um, in just a minute here. But you get to see where um, and how this is used and how it's mixed up. It's super easy to use. Um, but I wanted to use the flowers uh, mold and that allowed me some freedom to layer the flowers and to see how well the paint adhered to the flowers and the resin casting itself. So. Uh, You'll get to see that in just a second. I am going to fast forward this because the process takes about 10 minutes um, so that you get to see it from start to finish. But you stir this mix until it turns clear and then you have about two minutes of working time with the resin before it starts to harden, um, which is not a lot of time when you're trying to fill a mold. So small batches do work the best and um, and trying to get all the bubbles out, you may want to use a syringe with some needles if you have a lot of intricate details that you want to add um, that are in your mold. Um, and so I'm just showing you how we leveled it off. And now I am putting the flowers to use. I did use a resin mold for the little door and the window. I decided not to go with the window. I didn't like quite how that looked. Um, and so going over uh, painting different things that I thought might work with the tag um, and then using and not or taking certain things out of my design. Um, I just didn't like how certain things were put together. So the, but this gives you the idea of how long it takes and what paint process goes into uh, creating the resin um, details. Okay. And uh, so you'll see me with the flowers, painting the flowers, putting them together. Um, and again, I am going to fast forward through this. Um, for me, there is nothing worse than watching paint dry. So, um, and I say that a lot. <laughs> so here we are. The molds I did get from Timu. Um, the process of delivery, it, it took a couple of weeks, I will say. Um, but it was okay because I'd never ordered from them before. Uh, you know, I, I know I hear a lot of um, issues with that, but I did not have any issues whatsoever. Um, so I'm really happy with the product so far. And um, so you'll get to see this play out. So you get to watch um, this process.
Now we're moving on uh, to introduce our hosts. Five Under Five DIY Challenge is hosted by Crafty Cove DIY, Farm Charm Chic, and a guest host, Crafting with JC. Uh, and this month's topic is Decor Dupes. So check out the description boxes for all of the links for our wonderful hosts and the links to the original creators for our Decor Dupes. Uh, we've got some really talented, talented people, so check that out. On to DIY number three. This DIY is sponsored by Sank um, Kids Art Frames. And I looked at this and thought, what a great idea. I had a shadow box um, that I had a calendar, a perpetual calendar in, and I decided to redupe that. Um, because I really like the idea of being able to put artwork or, you know, uh, certain things that I've kept from my kids over the years. And so this took a little time. The, the small um, quarter inch stapler wasn't quite strong enough. So I went to a half inch heavy duty stapler and I am putting this in uh, fast forward for you. Um, the hair bands are, these are bands from literally Target. Uh, for extra thick hair and they worked extremely well for this project. So you'll get to see this um, in the final reveal. On to DIY number four. DIY number four is, is uh, giving me an idea with six kids and a glue gun. Uh, I loved the idea of um, the rope wreath and so I decided to try that on my, my own and I taped three strands together and cut it in half um, through the tape so it would not fray. And I used a small frame wreath uh, for this project in particular. Um, so the three strands and three strands, so I ended up with two strands for each uh, end of the uh, braid that I will do for this wreath. And as we move forward, I will fast forward this uh, so that you can see the process without taking too much of your viewing time. And here we are finalizing that braid and you will get to see what this looks like at the final reveal. DIY number five. I credit this with getting organized with Loli D's DIY creations. She has an amazing gift and you'll find her link in my description box. So all of these items I did pick up at my local dollar store. Um, these probably aren't the largest crates, but that's what my store had. And um, I'm figuring out how the boxes balance and how I want the wood situated so that it doesn't rock when I put them together. I did use hot glue wood glue uh, with this, and I decided instead of just glue holding it together, I would use uh, some small screws uh, to hold it in place because I'm pretty tough on things. So, um, and I added these uh, blocks that I found at a thrift store to add some structural support and balance to the bottom of my um, paint stand or my paint storage, okay? Um, so using my, my little drill and screwdriver, painting it, uh, and you will get to see how I do this as it plays out.
get to see this at the final reveal. And the final reveal. Thanks for watching everyone. This is Beth with Pearl Treasure Designs. For spiritual support, please go to Pastor Beth Kelly at Beth Kelly Podcast on YouTube, or you can email me at pastorbethkelly at gmail.com. Don't forget, folks, like, share, and subscribe. We're all in this together.